Today I will be trying a big bag of snacks. Hey guys, so I bought a lot of snacks for a video that's coming up. So there are a ton of snacks in here. They're all from Daiso, so they all cost $2 for three or something like that. There were a bunch of snacks that I actually hadn't tried. My favorite thing from Meiji is actually the little choco shrimp. But there were a lot of new snacks that they added that I had never heard of or tried before. So I decided to buy some extra and try them out for you guys. Okay, so first off, these snacks. <laughs> I don't know what it says because I can't read this language, but that's okay. Um, I bought a lot of them, as you guys can see. Um, they were pretty cheap. I think about two or four dollars for this entire thing. And I don't know, it looked really good. They have chocolate inside them, so I wanted to try it. Let's open it up. Oh my gosh. I'm I got it open. Oh my god, it's spilling crumbs everywhere. I have to clean this up afterwards. Oh, okay, this is not what I was expecting. It's these little, not like puff pastries. It's like, if any of you guys have ever had Hello Panda, it's kind of like this, but just in a circular shape. So we can try some. There's like chocolate in the middle, but it's like not too much chocolate, it's not overpowering. And the pastry cracker around it is super light, so it tastes really good. Okay, next up are these. I think they're little chips. Um, they're obviously, you know, little potato chips, but I like their design. I thought they looked like waffles, so I wanted to try that. Oh, this one opened really easy for me, thank God, because the other one I struggled with. Oh, okay, these are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. It's really crunchy. I thought it would be like a puffy, but I like how it has more of a crunch to it because I don't really like puffy chips. I like nice crunchy ones, so this is good. Also, I forgot for the other one, I'm rating them. This one, I think, eight out of 10, because I thought that the um, chocolate was a bit too little, but still good, so eight out of 10. This one, really good, but it still has a bit of the puffiness that, you know, it's more of a personal thing. I don't really like puffy chips, and this one's a bit puffier, so I think maybe seven out of 10, because it still tastes really good, and it still has that crunch to it, so it's good. Okay, moving on, we have these. Ooh, and this is caramel corn. And I just realized all of the little bags have cute little designs. Like this one has heart eyes, this one's winking. Oh, I think that's so cute. Okay, let's try this out. Ooh, okay, I'm really excited for this one. This is kind of what they look like. It's a lot softer than you'd think, but after you eat it, there's still kind of like some flaky parts in your mouth that actually taste and like feel like there's popcorn. Cause you know when you guys eat popcorn, there's like little bits of the kernel in your mouth. It totally got this down. I don't know if that was intentional or not, or if it's just like the caramel like flaking off of it, but I think that's really cool. And it's sweet, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. So I think this is probably like a solid, maybe a 10 out of 10, because it's not exactly my kind of thing, but it's called caramel corn. So I'm guessing they tried to go for caramel popcorn taste and they got that on point. So this one is 10 out of 10. Oh, also, I forgot I got them. These are choco shrooms, because um, I talked about them earlier in the video. These are the best thing that I have ever eaten. They are my favorite. Okay, I forgot about this one. So these are like little chocolate pyramids. And again, Meiji, I love Meiji chocolate, so good. And when I was younger, I had this one friend who used to always come over to my house and she would always bring these. And I was always so jealous because I loved them. And I found a big package of them in Daiso, which I didn't think they had. And I was just so excited to get them. Let me just point out the packaging in this is so pretty. Like, I just love the colors. I'm probably gonna keep the box afterwards and recycle it for something. Oh my God. Triangles are super cute. They have like strawberry chocolate and then chocolate chocolate on the bottom. Okay, so another one are these. I actually think that they're just like little biscuits. Probably taste a bit plain. I'm not sure, but you know, they still look good and I like how tiny they are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh wow. I don't know how, okay. At first they're like regular crackers, but then they have kind of like a chalky feel. Like they taste kind of chalky. They still taste really good. Not exactly my style, but for sure, if y'all like this, you should try it. I keep forgetting this. Um, 10 out of 10, of course, because nostalgia and they taste really, really good. This one, I'm not too crazy about them. They still taste really good. I think, 
I'm gonna have to give these a five or a six. I'll give it a six, I'll be nice. This, these are a six. Cause they're still like nice and light snacks and they're definitely good if you just wanna like snack on something. Okay, so here's another thing from my childhood. The same friend actually used to always bring these. She brought a lot of Meiji snacks, but they always tasted amazing. These are little like little chocolate cylinders. And actually when I was younger and I was filming YouTube videos before, um, I actually reacted to one of the old YouTube videos that I filmed. I'll leave it in an info card on one of the top corners. I don't know which corner. Um, I actually tried these when I went to Taipei. You know, when I went to Japan, I tried these and I filmed it. I wish I still had the recording for that. I think it actually got deleted with my old phone that I used to have, but I remember I loved them. So excited to see them in the store and I just wanted to try them again. Oh, and I forgot I had this. The top is kind of like a Tic Tac bottle, you know, where it just kind of like opens up like that. It's just little cylinders of chocolate. They're super tiny, but <laughs> it's just chocolate. You can't go wrong with chocolate. But obviously, this is gonna be a 10 out of 10. Alicia loves chocolate. So that's the end of this snack tasting video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun because he doesn't love taste testing a bunch of snacks. Overall, my favorites were these two because, you know, they taste good. They're really chocolatey. I love chocolate and they're from my childhood. Number one has to be choco shrooms, but I actually didn't try them in this video because I wanted to save them and have them tomorrow instead and I didn't buy an extra pack of them, which is my fault. Just the Meiji snacks were the best. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. Bye. And I made quite a mess tasting all the snacks. So I'm probably gonna clean this up.